Yeah, it's great, great to be here first and foremost. Um, I mean, it's an exciting times ahead for, for the club and for myself, so um, I'm delighted to be here. Uh, just on today's game, it's, it's great to, to get minutes under my belt. It's been, a, it's been a little while since I've had a game and, and got the minutes in, so great to get 45 minutes and see a great hit out for the boys before, before next week's game. And like you say, the, the match fitness is probably the 45 minutes is the most important thing after two weeks in quarantine. I mean, how do you sort of adjust from, you know, being locked up in a hotel to trying to get your fitness up ahead of the season? Yeah, it's difficult. I mean, the club obviously looked after me and got me sort of bike and some facilities in there. So you're trying to tick over on that. But, but nothing matches getting out of the pitch and, and getting actual football games in. So I've managed to get two sessions in with the boys before today's game. And, we had a plan just to get 45 minutes in today, so that was nice for myself. And as you said, we can just get that, that match fitness up. It would be nice to have a few more games before the before the first game, but that is what it is, and, and we, we go ahead into a, a big week next week, and hopefully I can get the, the match sharpness from training as well. And for yourself joining the club, I mean, it's obviously been a while since it was announced, but uh, when you did make the decision to come down under, I mean, what was the biggest uh, contributing factor there? As I was mentioning before, a lot of Glaswegians around the place, but I'm sure a very aspirational club for you as well. And I imagine you're at the point where you still want to do a lot. I mean, what was the main factor for you coming here? Yeah, I've always looked in my career that I wanted to go and, go and try and play in a different country. So when this opportunity came up, I spoke to the manager, obviously spoke to Kenny, and uh, it's exciting times for the club. I mean, it, it had instant, instant success when, when the club started out, and it's um, probably underachieved a little bit in the last the last couple of years. So hopefully, the new manager, the, the new players that have come in, we can bring a bit of success back. But I haven't spoke to the manager, I haven't spoke to Kenny. I, obviously, I know Kenny, and I know how he likes to play. Um, I know the standards he sets, and the manager was the same. The way he wanted to play excites me. Um, so I'm just looking forward to, to implementing that out in the pitch. You know what it's like to play for a big club that really wants to achieve a lot for the Wanderers. You know, um, what are the goals, I suppose, both for yourself and as a team uh, this year? Yeah, look, we just need to take each game as it comes. I mean, we've got new players in, we've got new staff in, so the, the coaches and the managers are implementing their own philosophies. And as I said, we've got new players in as well to help that. So we'll take every game as it comes. We've got a, a big game coming up, first game of the season. and um, We've got an opportunity to go and set a marker, so hopefully we can do that next week. Yeah, we're confident, as, as we say, that it's, it's, um, it's, there's new faces came in, so it'll take a little bit of gel, but hopefully we can do that this week. And as you say, it's exciting to get the fans back in the stadium. We'll say back home, the fans haven't been allowed in the stadium, so I'm looking forward to that, and I've heard all about how passionate the fans are here. So looking forward to playing in front of them. As I say, the boys will be ready come next week.